The Globecaster effects generator is used to create anything in 3D space, whether it's transitional effects, such as page peels or warping of the video, graphic elements using 3D models, such as corner bugs, and also creating virtual sets with imported 3D models, real-time reflections and refractions. Here's the simple and easy to use interface of the Globecaster effects generator. We have our workspace located here in the main section of the interface with one model already conveniently placed in the interface, a wireframe model of a video plane. Next we have the toolbar where we have all the buttons that allow us to choose whether we're rotating, moving objects, or scaling the objects. We also have the buttons for creating the different video effects and we have some other controls for our workspace including zoom in and out. The timeline is located at the bottom of the interface and up on either side we have our bins where we can save out our content or we can drag and drop items into our workspace from the bins. We'll start by changing the view of our workspace from a simple wireframe model to an actual video source. And I'll do that by turning on garage shading and change this active video texture to preview. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to set a starting point with this video plane off the screen. We're going to basically create a fly-in effect. So I'll pick up my video plane and we'll move it off camera here. And I'll go ahead and zoom out in my workspace so we can see the video plane off camera in the corner. You can see that there's a line generated here which shows the movement of my video plane. I'll hit make effect and it makes the video effect. Now we'll hit the auto button to actually play back the video effect. Very quick and easy. If we want to add additional keyframes to making our video effect, I'll go ahead and move my timeline slider about midway through the effect. We'll pick up the video plane and you can see how it stretched the line out to create a new keyframe point. We'll go ahead and make that effect and we'll run it back full resolution. Now it's probably a little bit too fast. Let's go ahead and click on the effect button and we'll scale this out to make it a three second effect and we'll hit make effect one more time. So you see how quickly and easily I'm making my transitional effects here. Just with a simple flyaway effect, it takes me seconds to create it. We can add rotation to the effects. Go ahead and pick this up and rotate it on a 3D axis. And we can also do more complicated effects, such as what I'm going to do next. We're going to add some additional polygons to the video plane. Now what that does is it allows us to create a procedural morph effect and this allows us to put some ripple into the video. I'll turn on wave, set my amplitude, and once again we'll hit the make effect button. So what you're seeing there is you're actually seeing ripples in the video as the video flies in. Let's go ahead and run that at full video resolution. So little nice touches like that allow us to create really complicated and fancy effects. We can do lighting effects by adding additional spotlights or starlights. We can also create multiple objects and we can map video reflections onto different 3D objects. I can bring in any 3D object to my workspace simply by locating it up in my bin, selecting it and dragging it and dropping it right into the workspace. And as you can see I can rotate the bell around. And right now it has a solid pink color attached to the surface. We can change that by right clicking on the bell, going into its property panel, and in a few clicks I can change that to be my video source as well. Now you can see that the video is mapped into the surface of the bell. Here's another example of a special effect created using the Globecaster effects generator software. Notice in this effect we've added borders to the video and we've set things up so that as one video source flies back it pauses and then when the user wants to they can fly the other video source full screen. Here's a demonstration of using this effect live over in the switcher application. Notice that we have our double box here so now I can actually gesture over and show the user interface over in the other box next to me. Now when it's time I can hit the auto button again and we can bring that effect back full screen. The effects generator software is also the program I use to create my own virtual sets. Here I've created a very simple virtual set by bringing in a few different 3D objects. I have my 3D table in front of me, a floor, a background surface, and you can see the wireframe model of the camera. 
This is where you'll actually see what the camera will see when the effect is run. I can pick up the camera once I've set up my virtual set, and I can move the camera around to get different camera angles. So once I build my virtual set, I only need to do it once. Then I can pick up the camera and I can move it to get different camera angles and match those to my different real cameras to have a nice matched background when I switch from one camera to the next over in the switcher. Here's an example of the complexity that you can use with the virtual sets in the effects generator. These 3D models were brought into the effects generator and by moving from camera angle to camera angle I can position myself wherever I want to in this conference room. By bringing in models from a 3D modeling program, we can easily create a virtual set as complex as the one that you see here. Note the tables, the chair, the background walls were all brought in and textured using the effects generator software. The effects generator is a great tool for making 3D graphics and effects geared towards broadcast video. Its use of the real-time hardware in the Globecaster box is what gives it the performance needed by broadcast professionals.